Hey everybody, I hope you're doing great today. I just wanted to offer some guidance today as far as an energetic perspective on what we can all individually do to maintain our own personal frequencies. Um, because we are at a time, a crossroads, and a really important time, as I keep saying, this Uranus and Taurus transit is extremely important to break cycles help people break cycles, break out of traditions that are not serving us. So this very much so requires you, me, and everybody to be extremely conscious of what energy we are carrying and what energy we are emitting. Because when we think about the energy body, you might have heard of the chakras, right? So the chakras, there's seven major ones on your body, but there's also chakras all around us. These are information centers that emit frequencies and pull in frequencies. And so when we look at our own energy bodies, we really have to be conscious of what we are putting out in the world because that's what we are asking for. And so on another note, that means that whatever is coming into your space, asking you to react, it's up to you to not react, right? When you turn on the television and something's trying to get you to be angry, you know, it's up to you to not get angry, to hold space and say like, why does this person want me to get angry? You know, why, why are people provoking energy, a reaction? from people? What are they getting out of this reaction? What have they always got out of this reaction, right? We look at sensational news. All of these sorts of things going on are asking us to react. And what happens when you react is you dismantle your center and your balance. You're no longer in control when you're reacting to somebody. And so we always want to act. We always want to hold space. So the most important thing to happen is that when chaos happens or shit goes crazy is you do nothing at first you you do nothing but you analyze everything right it's very much so like a ninja move you have to be we have to think of like we're ninjas right we don't want something to attack us we want to go with it so we want to you know work with the energy versus letting that energy have us react and like meet confrontation like that because it's up to all of us to help break these cycles. And so how do we get to know our own energy bodies, right? Um, well, first things first is we should clear our energy. So you wanna use some sage, palo santo, you can use a singing bowl, you can go for a walk in nature, you can do breath work. There's all sorts of ways to clear your energy. But the idea here is that on a daily basis, in the morning and in the evening, it is a really good idea to have some sort of practice that brings you back to center. So that when something comes into your energy space, you can identify it and you can understand what sort of energy it's carrying. Because when you understand what sort of energy something is carrying, you can understand maybe what you're carrying in your body. And so it's very important that we read people right now as well, because when we look at all of these people that are asking us to not like somebody, to do something, you know, nobody's perfect. And so we really have to honor, you know, what we're picking up from other people and trust that. Because there seems to be a lot of manipulation happening right now where people want us to like somebody, not like somebody, you know, and if you don't like this person, then you're like, whoa, like you're, you're the worst person ever, right? Where it's like, okay, if you're picking up something energetically from somebody that feels trustworthy, you know, or feels negative, like you need to trust yourself. And the only way you're going to be able to trust yourself is when you get yourself back to center which is why it's extremely important to clear your energy on a daily basis in the morning and in the evening because you want to know what it feels like to just be you so that when you go out into the world, you can begin to see what other people are carrying and you don't have to identify with it anymore. A lot of people identify with everybody else's energy and just take it on as their own. And that's not healthy at all because you don't want to be taking on anybody else's trauma, energy, and like that. You want to be able to hold your own frequency and hold space for everybody's healing. And so when I go back to, you know, helping people break cycles, if somebody is just a really angry person, a really hateful person, and they're coming at you with that cycle, you don't have to react and get hateful with them. You don't have to react and get angry with them. What you can do is you can hold space and say, I'm gonna break that cycle for you, 
right? Because you might be the only person in that person's life that offers them love instead of hate, right? It offers them strength instead of fear. So we all need to step up, step up our game and not play games with anybody, right? So if somebody's trying to get you to react, you hold space for love. You help them go through it. This is what Uranus and Taurus is asking of all of us because this is our time to rise as a human collective. And it's our time to break out of these traditions that we've just kind of been, you know, perpetuating over and over and over again. Like we don't have to do this anymore. We're over it, it's done, right? This is our time to be a bigger, greater human collective. So anyways, I just wanna put that out there because I do see that, you know, we can break things down right now and we can rise right now, but it does take conscious effort of knowing your energy body and not perpetuating cycles of destruction. You know, we can consciously alleviate cycles. It doesn't have to be so chaotic anymore, okay? That's what I pray and wish for. So anyways, if you like a reading, you can contact me at 11 33com You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all those lovely things. So anyways, wishing you all lots of love. Talk to you soon.